Our solar system is home to hundreds of moons, mostly found orbiting the gas giant planets, but they can also be found around dwarf planets, and even asteroids. Among these many moons, there are some interesting and unique worlds. Let's visit and explore some of them. Thank you for watching, and enjoy. First, let's check out Io, one of the 95 moons of Jupiter. Io happens to be the most volcanically active body in our solar system, with over 400 active volcanoes. Its surface is a vibrant mix of yellows, reds, and blacks due to sulfur and molten silicate. The intense volcanic activity here is caused by the gravitational interactions with Jupiter and other nearby moons, creating powerful tidal forces that constantly heat and reshape Io's landscape. Io has a diameter of 3,643 kilometers, or 2,264 miles, making it quite substantial. From the fiery landscape of Io, we journey to the icy world of Europa, another moon of Jupiter. Beneath Europa's thick, icy crust lies a vast subsurface ocean, making it a prime candidate for the search for extraterrestrial life. Its smooth surface is relatively free of craters, with patterns of cracks and ridges suggesting the presence of liquid water beneath. Europa's mysterious hidden ocean invites us to ponder what secrets it might hold, considering anywhere with water on Earth contains life. Could an underground alien ocean hold the same? NASA currently has a craft called Europa Clipper headed for this moon to further study its ice, how it interacts with the water below, and to look for potential signs of life. Europa has a diameter of 3,122 kilometers, or 1,940 miles. Leaving Europa behind, we travel to Titan, Saturn's largest moon, Titan stands out with its dense nitrogen atmosphere and lakes made of liquid methane and ethane, creating a landscape eerily similar to Earth's. The presence of these toxic lakes makes Titan the only other world in the solar system known to have large bodies of liquid on its surface. This alien version of Earth even has weather patterns and seasonal changes, and the possibility of organic chemistry taking place makes it a fascinating world to study. Titan's strange Earth-like environment offers a small glimpse into the variety and potential of other worlds within and beyond our solar system. Titan has a diameter of 5,150 kilometers or 3,200 miles, making it the second largest moon in the solar system, even larger than the planet Mercury. Next, we visit Enceladus, another of the 146 moons of Saturn. Enceladus surprises us with huge plumes of water ice erupting from its south pole, indicating a subsurface ocean, potentially harboring conditions suitable for life. Enceladus' surface is covered in fresh ice, making it one of the most reflective bodies in the solar system. These icy geysers also connect Enceladus to the possibility of life beyond Earth. Enceladus has a diameter of 504 kilometers, or 313 miles. From Saturn's icy moons, we head to Neptune's largest moon, Triton. Triton has a retrograde orbit, meaning it orbits the planet in the opposite direction of the planet's rotation, suggesting it was possibly captured by Neptune's gravity. It's potentially a former object from the Kuiper Belt, and it has a uniquely interesting landscape. Triton has geysers that are thought to be erupting nitrogen and organic compounds, indicating geological activity. Its mysterious terrain teases us to further explore this distant world. Triton has a diameter of 2,707 kilometers, or 1,682 miles. Introducing Iapetus, Saturn's third largest moon with a striking two-tone coloration. One hemisphere is dark, while the other is bright, creating a stark contrast. Scientists believe this is due to a combination of ice and a dark material potentially falling to the surface from some outer moons of Saturn, or possibly a comet or asteroid. 
Another theory is the potential of volcano-like hydrocarbons erupting from the surface. Iapetus also has a distinctive equatorial ridge, giving it a walnut-like appearance, adding to its bizarre beauty. Iapetus has a diameter of 1,469 kilometers, or 913 miles. Next up is Miranda, one of Uranus' moons. Miranda's surface is a chaotic mix of cliffs, valleys, and impact craters, making it look like it was pieced together from different parts. Its geological features include giant canyons and ridges, suggesting intense geological activity in the past, and potential violent impacts that helped shape this battered moon. Miranda's diverse terrain makes it one of the most unique moons in the solar system, challenging scientists to learn more about its active history. Miranda has a diameter of 472 kilometers, or 293 miles. Moving on to Nereid, Neptune's moon with the most eccentric orbit of the known moons in the solar system. This moon's distance from Neptune varies greatly, getting as close as 1,381,500 kilometers, or 858,424 miles from the planet to as far as 9,626,500 kilometers, or 5,981,630 miles. This dramatic orbit suggests that it may have been captured or influenced by past gravitational interactions. Nereid's odd orbit makes it an intriguing object of study for understanding moon formation and dynamics. Nereid has a diameter of approximately 340 kilometers, or 211 miles. Saturn's moons Pan and Atlas are known as shepherd moons, meaning they orbit Saturn within its rings, leaving a gap between them. Pan has a distinctive ridge around its equator, giving it a ravioli-like appearance. Atlas has an oblique shape, making it look more like a flying saucer. Their gravitational influence helps shape Saturn's rings, showcasing their unique roles in the solar system. Pan has a diameter of about 28 kilometers, or 17 miles, and Atlas has a diameter of 30 kilometers, or 19 miles. Finally, we have Callisto, the second largest moon of Jupiter. Callisto is one of the most heavily cratered objects in the solar system, with a surface that's billions of years old. Its surface is covered in a thick layer of ice and rock, preserving its ancient history. Callisto's lack of geological activity makes it a unique time capsule of the early solar system, still showing scars from billions of years ago. Callisto has a diameter of 4,821 kilometers, or 2,996 miles. These are just a few of the strangest moons in our solar system, with many more waiting to be explored. I would love to know if you would like to explore more of the moons in our solar system in future videos. Each one of these moons tells a unique story and adds to the wonder of our solar system and our place in the cosmos. Personally, these moons further my gratitude for our place here on Earth, and I am grateful to share a moment here with all of you. Thanks for joining me on this journey to some of the unique moons in our solar system. If you enjoyed this video and would like to show your support, feel free to hit the like button and share this video with other curious minds. Your support truly goes a long way and it helps others find and enjoy these adventures through space. I would also like to thank this amazing community for the ongoing support. I appreciate you all. If you would like to see more videos like this in the near future, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on the next one. Thanks again. Until next time, take care and be well.